Hi hey guys, welcome back. So it seems I've ran into this problem when I've been trying to install Android x86. I have VirtualBox 6.0 installed like we did in the previous video, but I'm trying to boot it up. And when we start it up, I'll just show you what it does. Now I've looked around on I've got 7.1 currently installed. I've tried 8.1, does the same thing. So it looks like it's booting up. It says it's starting Android where it says Android, and it does this. And then it does, you can't do anything. It's just a black screen. I found a guy on a forums that was having the same problem, and it seems that he never got it fixed or figured out. He was trying, I think, 8.1. So I thought I would try going back to 7.1, and does the same thing as 8.1. I'm starting to think that it is VirtualBox 6.0. So what I'm currently working on is we're going to be removing VirtualBox 6.0. So let's just jump into that. So I'll switch you over to the CLI. We're going to be downgrading this, so we need to remove VirtualBox. Let's shut VirtualBox down. So I'm going to sudo app get purge. And it should be virtual. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to copy this one. Pray. I can't type warp it's not. And cancel that. So this is my only occlusion that it... Um, what the heck? Man, I can't type tonight. Too late. There we go. So we're just going to purge it. Just going to delete everything. Let's also go into here to our home directory. And we should have, if you're on Linux, you should have something in here called VirtualBox VMs. We're just going to delete this. Empty our trash. Get that all taken care of, and we'll just give this a while to uninstall. I'll also put a link in the description um, for the older version of VirtualBox. We're going to be installing 5.2. So. Give it a minute to do its stuff. Hoping this fixes it, because I can't figure out for the life of me. I've been going around and around and around for the last, like, three hours trying to figure out, looking on Google. Nothing. Now we're just going to do sudo app. Oops, switch it back over here. Get auto remove. Just clear that all out. Okay, there's nothing you need to be cleared out. So now we got this on the desktop, so we're just going to CD into the desktop. Make sure we have our stuff there. And then we're going to go sudo dp kg. I exactly like we did with 6.0. I'll post uh, the diddly do in there. The commands. We do have it on here. Oh, give me a second. I went to the wrong directory. Can't type. Okay, there it is. <laughs> yeah, this is just a pop out of the blue, and we don't install it like that. We're going to be Got a dot. Bear with me. So we we'll just currently install that. Give it a while to do its stuff. I'm 
might have to reboot our system for this to fully apply to go backwards. Not exactly sure. Should only be a minute or so more. So let's just okay. It just opened VirtualBox. So we have some runtime errors. I'm going to reboot my system. Wait a minute. No. Let's just remove that. And yeah, this looks like VirtualBox 5. Like they've done a lot of changes to 6, and I'm really thinking that's the problem. So I'm going to end this tutorial here, and if this is the problem, I'm going to upload this to YouTube just to show you how to downgrade your VirtualBox on your Bono. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm sorry, this was kind of a rough uh, tutorial. I just, air is popping up, and, you know, you may as well document it. So if anybody needs help, see you guys.